Ladies and gentlemen, introducing our final 2007 California Wrestling Hall of Fame inductee, Dr. John Dalem. His presenters are his two sons, Ryan and Sean. I have known this gentleman for too long to remember, and I usually have called him John, so without being uh, disrespectful, I trust that Dr. John won't mind if I refer to him as John as I read his introduction. Is that okay? No, okay. okay. <laughs> John began his coaching career at Loera High School in 1969 after returning as a decorated Vietnam veteran. His teams won 225 matches and only lost 36. He won 10 league championships and had four undefeated seasons, including a 55 and one record. John has coached numerous CIF masters and state individual placers, including Bruce Terry, a two time state CIF champion. Also state champion and judo champion Tony Okada and also state and national champion Orlando Galvin were wrestlers at schools where John was the principal. John was named the coach of the year in Orange County on four occasions and was recognized as the National Wrestling Coach of the Year in 1978. He was the first member inducted into the Orange County Wrestling Hall of Fame and John is also a member of the National Wrestling Hall of Fame. John helped organize the California CIF Wrestling Advisory Committee and served on that committee for 15 years. I had the privilege of serving on that advisory committee with John and I commend him for his dedication and commitment to improving the stature of California high school wrestling. John has been an active member of the National Wrestling Coaches Association Weight Management Committee. He has served on the CIF Federated Council and he is also the past president of the CIF Southern Section. John conducts wrestling clinics each year motivating wrestlers, wrestling drills, starting a wrestling program, and the famous Loera Cradle Series. He is known as a wrestling guru in the CIF Southern Section. Dr. John Dalem is unique for all of his service to the CIF and he continues to advocate and advance the cause of high school wrestling. When John is not involved in wrestling activities, he travels the world climbing the major peaks. He has climbed five of the seven highest peaks on each continent, including Mount McKinley in Alaska and Mount Vincent in Antarctica, and he's anticipating doing Mount Everest. Ladies and gentlemen, inducted into the 2007 California Wrestling Hall of Fame, Dr. John Dalen. Uh, thank you, Lynn. I'd like to uh, thank Lynn and all the wonderful uh, individuals that put this on tonight, the Swartz, Bill Grant, etc. also want to introduce uh, my favorite friend, uh, my lover, the person that's been the greatest supporter in my life, 42 years, uh, principal of the Braille Institute, just retired like I did, my wife, Sue. I was just awed at all of the uh, discussion on the great people that have preceded me on this dais. I sort of feel like the guy in the marathon that runs about a six you know, hour marathon and there's a bunch of guys out there running two hours, uh, but I'm happy to be here needless to say. Uh, I'm a little bit different than everyone else. As most of you know, I never wrestled in high school. I never wrestled in college. I got back from Vietnam, I went to Santa Monica High School where I graduated where they needed somebody to help out. I went down there and helped out a little bit. I didn't know anything about wrestling. Season was over and a couple of kids said, hey coach, why don't you come to a freestyle tournament? And I had never wrestled before in my life and I said, you got to be serious. Uh, so I said, yeah, come on, let's go. And it was at El Camino College and I will never forget this. This was my short two match career, totally. <laughs> Went to El Camino College and uh, the kids gave me a singlet but I didn't have wrestling shoes so I had high top converses <laughs> into how great that was. And I got there and the kids, uh, I was going to sign up for the 190 pound class and they said, coach, go ahead, you know, sign up for the heavyweights, not too many people show. And so I didn't know any better, I didn't even know what freestyle was, so I signed up and came back, it was about 20 guys in a 190 pound class, there were three guys in the heavyweight division. And so I said, oh my. And uh, went out there for my first match of my career and the bad part was unlimited in those days and I wrestled someone at 320 pounds. That was the bad part. The good part is he had tennis shoes on like I did. 
he too could not wrestle and we sort of gooed around there and I pushed on him and you know got lost a couple of times and this is the honest truth he actually slipped on the side of the match he was so tired he rolled on his back and he got pinned and I was standing and all the kids were going way to go coach super job and I sort of wondered why I had to wrestle that first match. Well, I found out my second match. I went out on the mat and I looked across and there was a man over there. He weighed about 235 pounds of steel. He had cauliflower ears, this big jaw, and just was sitting there frothing at the mouth. And as I looked real close, and I, I had my uniform on, which was terrible, and my singlet was over my head or something like that, it said USA on it. I said, oh. It was Jeff Smith. Some of you may know Jeff Smith. He was Pan American Game Champion and was an All-American at Michigan State. And that was great. I went out there and shook his hand. It was like putting my hand in a paper bag. And you know when the ref goes, ready, wrestle, by the time his hand came down, I was pinned. <laughs> on a story. He put a half Nelson on me. Doesn't sound bad other than it was a standing half Nelson. <laughs> I could not find my way to my back fast enough, and I will never forget the kids on the sideline, bridge, coach, bridge, bridge, I wanted to go home. He was hurting me, very serious. That was the beginning of the end of my career, but I decided I wanted to be a wrestling coach. Uh, I read books, I listened to many of the individuals in this room who became mentors to me. I did everything I could, and really what is strange, my mentors were my wrestlers. They taught me basically everything that I knew about wrestling. I'm very proud of my two sons over here making the presentation. They were both wrestlers at Catella High School. Both went to Stanford University, which I have, I think, a lot to do with uh, their wrestling. One has a graduate degree from Harvard, the other from UCLA. Pretty sharp kids, thanks to their mom. Uh, and I think all of their dedication that they learned uh, came through wrestling. Wrestling to me became a way of life. And when I became an administrator, uh, I did everything I could for the sport of wrestling, to get kids out for the sport of wrestling, to try to get as many wrestling programs going, particularly as a high school principal when I realized that you could save lives, as John McCarthy did for many years at uh, Magnolia High School. And as I said, my mentors were my wrestlers. I have an individual privilege to have here tonight. You've already heard his name. Probably one of the greatest lightweights in the all-time in the state of California. We all feel we're blessed if we can get one individual that will come across your path who is dedicated, wonderful family, wonderful individual, works extremely hard, and that's Bruce Terry. And I want to introduce him real quickly. And last but not least, I'll leave you with something that was said the other night on HPO. Bill Walton was speaking about John Wooden and he said, Coach never gave us the answers, he just showed us the way. And that's what wrestling has been to me. Thank you very much.